then. <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, you got all the right equipment, though. All right, guys, let's give it another two minutes, and then we'll go ahead and get cracking. We're right now at the 55 mark. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dewey, welcome home, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Eric, for a long weekend. <laughs> I'm alive after round two vaccine. <laughs> how do you feel? Oh, how you feeling? Yeah, how do you feel? I got I got the best sleep last night. I feel fine. Yeah, your hair shows it. I was supposed to get a haircut on Friday, <laughs> but then you know we went to the trip on Thursday, so I was like, well, guess I'm not getting a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh let's uh let's give it one more minute and then we'll go ahead and get started. I am a head certified counselor. All right, guys. So as we get started, as always, let's start to load up our chat with any of your shout outs, wins for the week. And for all of our guests that are not connected with you on social, make sure to drop your Instagram handle down below. That way we can all connect and stay connected. Uh, it's good to see everybody. Let's give a shout out to Jason. Jason's hair is coming in so strong. Hasn't cut it since pandemic. Man, dude, it's looking good, bro. I hit a year mark uh, three days ago. Cool, man. How's the how's the lady like it? She's all for it. I don't know. She wants me to get it trimmed because it's all the same length. It's pretty gross, really. <laughs> it's almost like a bob. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's like that in between stage when I used to have long hair. I used to have longer hair than Eric or um, Eric Kings, uh, but it was that in between where I couldn't put it in a ponytail yet, and it was kind of like just here on each side, but. It looks better on you than it did me. So it looks good, man. Good stuff. Much appreciated. All right, guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and get cracking. Super, super excited for this meeting, as I am for all meetings. But uh, like I said, you guys, make sure to put your shouts, shout outs, your wins, as well as all of our Instagram handles, because there is no other team as big as us and no other company as big as us on social media. And so appreciate you guys. So um, huge shout of gratitude out to everybody. I'm actually taking my first trip next week to go see my family. Um, and I'm really grateful to be able to share this experience. My mom, uh, her brother, my uncle, excuse me, passed away. And so uh, my mom's like, I don't want to do a funeral. I want to do a celebration of life. And she's like, Mijo, if you can bring the baby, I know it's a lot for you. So I'm making a road trip from here to San Diego to see my mom. I rented a beachfront home for her and my stepdad. It's going to be my son and I, my stepdad and my mom. And I'm just going to go down and enjoy them. And so I'm really, really grateful that I'm able to spend some time with my mom. It's going to be my very first trip since pandemic. And so um, it's unfortunate circumstances, but I'm just really, really stoked to go to my hometown and be able to share some memories with my mom and uh, bring her some gifts. And only thing I want to do is ride the boardwalk on an old beach cruiser with my son on the back and listen to the JBL speaker and just cruise. Like that is everything that I want to do. My mom's like, cool, I'll go with you. So uh, I appreciate that, Eric. Thank you. I, I thank you. My mom is just beyond excited. And I got this, you know, I went all out for my mom, got our beachfront condo or a house right on the water. So I'm really stoked. So I'm just grateful to be able to share some time with my family this next week. Uh, let's do this, you guys. I want to pull up my screen really quick. I'm going to share the slides, and we'll go ahead and get into this week. You guys, we have a lot of great stuff to Elias, talk about. can you refresh it? Uh, yeah, hold on really quick. Yeah, I made a bunch of changes. You did? Okay, I'm going to refresh it now. All right, cool. We should be good. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and hop right into this. First things first, we always like to welcome all of our guests and so we're going to go around the room and have, you know, the people introduce their guests. So I'm going to go over to you first, Walt. Walt, looks like you have a guest on today. So let's start out with you, my man. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'd like to introduce Anna. Anna uh, was studying for an exam around the same time I was, and she is very close to getting it taken care of. She was delayed by COVID and the closures throughout the state. So I'd like to introduce Anna to our team meeting. We've been talking for a couple of months. She lives in Danville, has twin, had two twins. She has twins and hopefully once she passes her exam and joins the team, she'll be helping us up to 680 in the Danville, San Ramon, uh, Dublin area. Beautiful, beautiful. Anna, welcome. To, would you like to say something? Want to say hi? Hi, um, I, uh, yeah, thanks for introducing me. So I was, um, yeah, interviewed a while back, but um, like I said, with COVID stuff and um, having like two-year-old twins, um, 
thought I'd be done, but it's okay. I'm, I'm close. So, but anyways, thanks for having me. Yeah. Welcome. And you know what? I have a two and a half year old. Well, he'll be yeah. three in June and I have yeah. one and it's a, it's yeah. a challenge it's no okay. for yeah. you to and like have terrible to age and oh my God, I can yeah. imagine what you're going through and yeah. you're still studying to get your license. Hats yeah. off to you. And I think that yeah. there's no better person than Walter who was a part of our culture prior to him getting his license. And so thank mm -hmm. you for being here. Listen to that dude because he's doing something right. And you are yeah. welcome to come to any of our meetings moving forward and be a part of our culture. Even if you decide that this is not the right company for you, we're down to support your journey. Yeah, thank you. So welcome, welcome. Um, so John, I think you have some guests on the line today. Would you want to uh, introduce any of your guests, John? I do, yeah, Carrie Lachelle, she is in kind of in a similar boat. She's working on getting her license, being super proactive and, and starting to already take a look at where she's gonna land so she can hit the ground running. It's fun. I also connected with Walter, like Walter, you know, Walter oh. with lots of new agents, but I, I feel like we have some people that are- Wait, wait a minute, uh, y'all making me like a recruiter on the team. Well, like you, were, you were, I mean, Walter was around before he even had his license and was just waiting. I feel like you're around for months before you had a license. And then as soon as you got it, you just exploded. So you're no, just like- no, I'm just like, Great example. Oh, <laughs> Set the bar high for new agents. But Carrie, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, I'm Carrie Lachelle, and um, super excited to be invited today. Um, I live in the Martinez Pleasant Hill area, and uh, I too was uh, given Walter's name. So I'm looking forward to chatting with Walter and learning more. Awesome, awesome. And you know, at the end of the day, we don't ask any of our agents to be recruiters. What we ask them to do is truly share their journey and 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 our agents are willing to do that. You know, the good, bad, and the ugly. And so um Walter, he he got a fresh haircut, so he's feeling really good. And so uh thank you for being here. And just thanks for being a great brand ambassador, man. That's what this is all about. So good stuff. Um, so Daniel Johnson, we um we met Daniel um on a call a couple of weeks ago but um daniel are you on man you want to say an official hello to everybody yeah hello what's going on it's what's my second time on? here <laughs> um i'm excited to go get ready um getting all the onboarding stuff finished up i'm ready to go uh write some offers you know awesome awesome my man well welcome love that you're here and looking forward to supporting your journey uh, we have a couple other guests stephanie it looks like you have a guest on the line today you want to introduce your guest yeah, um, I'm actually on my way to meet her. Um, Kim, I don't know if she's on because I'm driving and I can't tell who's on, but um, Kim Liu, she, we are actually in a transaction together and um, with my niece and uh, she's also a part of Aria um, Solano. She's oh, yeah. the founder there. Ooh. So um, she's interested in, you know, just trying to see what other opportunities are out there. And she knew Kenny in the past and just wanted to see what we have to provide. So Kim, if you're on. Kim, speech, speech. Hi. Speech. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi, I'm how are you? Much energy. Hey, Kim. <laughs> I'm um I'm doing good. How's everyone doing today? We are well. We are well. Thanks for asking. Thanks for having me on. I'm excited to uh, be part of your team possibly so uh stephanie invited me to join the meeting so here i am awesome well this is the fun stuff after this you go through a rigorous interview process with me and seven <laughs> other people and a panel of, of of judges but overall it's going to be an exciting journey for you so so welcome appreciate you being here um viv it looks like you also have a guest on the line today viv who do we have Okay, we'll go over to Pamela. Pamela, looks like you have a few well, guests. Viv, Viv has, uh, Vanessa, uh, Viv's not here, but hey, what's up, Vanessa? Hey, hi, hi, Kenny. Hi, Vanessa. Let me do a quick intro. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Vanessa. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Are you a doctor? Do I, I see doctor? Oh, um, I'm actually a nurse. Oh, okay. Oh, very yeah. cool. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, my name is Vanessa Strife. Um, I'm very excited to be working with all of you and being a part of the team. Uh, Vivian recruited me, so I'm, I'm just super excited. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, welcome to, to, to our meeting. I'm looking forward to supporting your journey as well. Okay. And I don't know how you find the time, but hats off to you because um, you know, obviously that, you have a that, mind for it. <laughs> that's what happened when you live in the Bay Area. You got to hustle. 
That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, then you're you're in the right place. <laughs> you're in the right place. So nice to have you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, so nice to meet everybody. Nice to meet you as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Pamela, how about for you? I know that you have some guests on the line today. You want to go ahead and introduce your guest? Okay. So is Sylvia on the line? I mean, is she in? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So basically Sylvia, we go way back and I saw that she was with EXP and I was like, oh my gosh, we're with EXP, you know, are you on a team? So I would say, you got to check out fast real estate. You got to check out the team. And she had already been talking to Kenny. And so we just kind of chat a little bit more. So she'll introduce herself. You want to introduce yourself, Sylvia? Hi everybody. Um, Pamela and I, we're from the same neighborhood back in the day. <laughs> Okay. My brother and I are the same age. We've been hanging out since eighth grade. And now we are um, grandparents' age. So, you know, it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, um, I really um, appreciate the fact that Kenny does allow people to pop in and check out your meetings and see what's going on. I've had my real estate license for uh, 32 years and um. <laughs> I, um, I've never been a part of the team. And so Pam was telling me about this team and I'm still, you know, kind of checking it out. And then uh, another lady posted um, in one of the groups that she's new to real estate, I believe. She, and she's in the Bay Area and she was looking for a team. And even though I'm not on your team, I referred her to your team. So I don't know if she's checked you out or not, but I was impressed enough to refer her to your, your team. And I really like the culture. I like the way that you guys talk shit. I love that. On that, we can talk some shit on this team. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to you in about five minutes. So, so you wanna talk some shit? Hit me up. Ooh, we about to talk some shit. Do we got about a two milli coming for you, baby? I, I we about to talk some shit. I don't know if you can handle it. There's a kid on the screen. So, okay. There's a kid with her. <laughs> So I would, I would like to, um, Kenny, we gonna have to talk, you know, we've been missing each other. So we are going to have to talk because I think I am going to just go ahead and stick my toe in and see what being on a team is all about. Uh, and you know what, yeah. it's, and we dive right in. That's <laughs> a, it, right. That's right. And it's not even a team. This is a team that started at 12 of us and we've built this village and this company and you, when you come in it's not like oh i'm a part of this one team like this is a family everyone is here to support your that's, journey that's that's, that's why i want to check you out it's a collaboration i i um i have a film company and we have a web series online and i i say it's a collaboration of creativity and so this is also a collaboration and that's the kind of environment that i i like to work with Mm, I love it. Well, welcome and, and well said. Appreciate you being here. And I'm sure we're going to have many more conversations. And thanks for already referring someone to the company. Um, can you have a guest on the line? I think it's uh, Lynn. Oh, Tyler. Hey, Lynn. Lynn, Lynn, and well, I'll let Lynn introduce herself. Lynn, are you there? Hi, I'm here. Who's, wait, who's the little one? This is Reagan. Say hi. Hi, Reagan. Nice to meet you. So, so Lynn, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I am, I don't know, I told Kenny, I don't have an elevator pitch. <laughs> I'm just here to check out uh, Fast Real Estate. Cool. Um, I'm really intrigued by it. And I, yeah, Kenny was one of the first, I said, yeah, he was the first top agent I met when I first started out. So I'm, you know. I climbed, right? Like six years ago? Yeah, no, no, four, five years ago I climbed. Yeah, four, five. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for uh, thank you for on this call today, and yeah. Reagan too. Bye, Reagan. <laughs> so cute. All right, and then we have some new faces on today, um, as well that have joined in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Lamont, you want to say hello? Lamont Saunders joined us a couple of weeks ago. My man, you want to say a quick hello to your your fellow team members? Hey, Sam. Nice to be here. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, Sharice Lopez, she is new. She's representing us up in the East Contra Costa market. Sharice, you want to say a quick hello again as well? Hello, everybody. How are you? We are well. We are well. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. And then Michelle. Well, I Michelle. have a guest. Oh, you do? Who's that, Julie? Uh, his name is Justin Swanson. And not sure... I think he's on the call. Um, Justin, he. I, I'm on. 
<laughs> He's been my buddy back in KW. And okay. I was telling him about the team. And he said, uh, Kenny's bot also hit him up on LinkedIn. So, <laughs> <it's a talk. laughs> so Justin, do you want to introduce yourself? What's up, Justin? What's up, Justin? Hey, hey what's going on, y'all? Um, I am just drove into Concord, so I don't know if the service is good or not. But it's yeah, I'm, um, yeah, I'm originally from New York, Brooklyn, New York. Me and Julie kind of met on some, oh, you're from the East Coast. I'm from the East Coast, too. And I love Julie's energy. I've uh, been an agent for a year now, about to be two years. And yeah, I was interested. I saw Kenny one one day at a um, at an after hour, uh, after work spot. And it, it just looked like some uh, scene out of the, the Goodfellas or something. There's just a bunch of people around the table laughing and, and joking and whatnot. And I was just like, oh, that's pretty cool. And, um, you know, I... I knew about him from Climb and from Julie, and, and now, you know, just to be in this meeting, I really appreciate it. What up, Justin? I was like, oh, Kenny at the after hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where he's going to go to a really bad place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, you guys. Welcome. And then Michonne. Michonne is a referral from uh, Miss Roxanne Adams, honey herself. So, Michonne, you want to say hello to the squad? Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Second time on, and I've enjoyed my interaction so far. You guys seem like you're a really great team or village, as you say, and I'm looking forward to this experience. I've had my license for 15 years, but I've never, ever been on a team. I've kind of just been out there on my own. So I'm looking forward to this new experience with you guys. Thank you. Did you just relocate, Michonne, to uh, Oakley. Oakley? You just mm -hmm. moved over? Yeah. Oh, well, we have a really big announcement in Brentwood. I'll let John uh, cover that in a bit. Yeah. We'll get to that in a moment, but uh, yeah, you guys, listen, um, this is a record. So actually, uh, I, I have some goosebumps right now. You guys were at 82 participants. Um, this is, I mean, I, I literally, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like, it's so exciting to see like how much you guys come together, right? It's not just us, Kenny and I and John and the leadership team. This is all about you got 82 people. When some people are running these dry ass meetings and talking about legal updates and nobody comes into the office who's like, hey, Hank, hey, Carl, how are you? Yeah, coffee's good. Is there Danish shoes? Like it's the same stuff every single week, right? You guys showed up in a big way, 82 people. I just want to give all of you guys a round of applause and thank you for supporting us and thank you for supporting everybody that is next to you in this room. So um, that's a big moment for me, guys. Now it's at 83. So uh, I can't wait to see that number hit 100. So I'm crying. You're crying. Thank you for being here. I All have right, a question. The, go Is ahead. Okay? Question. Yeah. Um, I only know you and Kenny. If at some point it would be nice to meet the, the rest of the leadership team. Yeah, for sure. We'll, we'll host a, um, a meet and greet and we'll, we'll do that as well. Um, John's on here. Molly's on here. And uh, Karina, so you'll have a chance to meet us all. And we're looking forward to, to collectively supporting you. Good stuff. All right, guys, let's go into some um, a teachable moment. Um, so quick teaching moment. John, was that on you this week? Did we do? I don't think we decided on teaching. Let's moment. skip it. Let's skip it. This week. I think everybody's asking me questions as they have them. Um, we didn't land on anything official. Cool. We'll skip it for now then. All right, let's get right into some production stats and see who's, you know, really putting in the hours behind the scenes. So um, this week on CC Updates, hours working on your business. We have Laura coming in at, at number one. Um, I've seen Laura show up in a great way. I mean, she transitioned from full-time work and now she is working, um, you know, full-time as a real estate agent and she's in the office, she's going on appointments, she's asking for help and she came in at number one this past week for hours working on her business. Kyle came in at number two for hours working on your business. Kate at number three, tied with Robert. And Mr. Jack Stegner, you know him, you love him, came in at number four. So really great job, everybody. Hours working in your business. As we always say, these are income producing activities such as prospecting. Mr. Walter Daniel came in at 47. Uh, came in at number one. Right behind him was number two, Cynthia Peterson. Uh, Juanita Rivera, it's good to see your name on here. Came in at number three. 
Jack Stegner came in at number four and Omar came in at number five, full-time dad running his business. So really great job to everybody for making the CSU leaderboard. Uh, let's go to buyer showings. I put a new slide in here this week just to shake some things up. Mr. Kyle showed uh, 20 homes this past week. He helped me out. He was showing homes. Um, just He's been grinding and hustling. Angelica came in at number two, tied with Laura for 14. Joaquin came in at number three, tied with Omar for nine. I know that you guys are probably seeing more homes than that, but I'm only going based off of what was updated in CSU. So uh, let's give all your brothers and sisters a round of applause. A great job, way to hustle, way to get out there and make it happen. Now let's go into our escrows for the week. You guys, we had a monumental week and I'll wrap that all up once we go through all the new escrows for the week. But man, I could not be more excited for this past week. I am, I am, I am happy about what you guys accomplished. And this, a lot of companies won't do this in an entire month, let alone one week. So let's go through some of the wins for the week and who got on the board. Mr. Kevin Bowie, let's send a huge happy belated birthday. He just got back from a birthday trip, um, got in contract for 190,000. Kevin, you want to talk really quick about this deal? Yeah, sure. It's, let's uh, go! <laughs> yeah, I was stoked I got something while we were out there, but um. It's a, this is actually a referral I got from Jen a while back and I got him in a contract in this same community for a mobile home, but then he had to back out and then we got in again and then we had, they had to back out because somebody else had to come in and then they had a new construction and we were just waiting till they uh, put down the foundation. So finally they did and uh, we're in contract and they're stoked. So thanks guys. Beautiful, congratulations, bet on Bowie, man. Great job and hopefully you had a wonderful birthday. Uh, let's go over to uh, Melody. Melody, I added something here. I'm sure you're going to love this. So Melody, tell us a little bit about this deal because I know this was a special one for you. She had to step out. Can you come back to her? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll come back to her. Make sure. Let me know when she hops back in. All right, you guys. Um, let's go over to Laura. So Laura has been partnering with Ben on some on some lead opportunities and was able to get into contract this past week. And this was just her literally her first couple of weeks of working lead opportunities with Ben. So Laura, do you want to talk about this transaction? Good morning, everyone. Um, well, this is pretty much um, um, number one. I got to thank Ben uh, for trusting in me and wanted to work with him. And uh, this was pretty much of, um, it was just right and the client really wanted to see the property, really like it. I got the information. I was able to establish a good relationship with the listing agent and boom, we're in contract. So um, that was pretty pretty much it. Um, very excited. And then luckily um, my client was also very, uh, he, he is very well known. Looks like he knows his stuff. He did his own research himself too. So he was well prepared. Um, so it was pretty quick. That was really good. And then I'm glad that I, I wish, you know, we all wish that we have clients like that. Right. But, um, a lot of times we have to hold the client's hands and help them, which is fine with me too, but this one was one of them. So yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Love it. And Ben, do you want to talk about this? Cause I know that you guys have been partnering up on opportunities. You want to talk about it from your end? Yeah. Um, Juanita's been, uh, I mean, Juanita, Laura's been killing it. Juanita's been killing it. Rosa's been killing it. Basically, I, I just have a, like an oversupply of leads that I, I just don't have the bandwidth to take care of. And, you know, initially there's always like a fear of like, oh, is that individual going to be able to, um, you know, take the lead and then execute. And like with these three gals, there was never a doubt. Like I gave them a phone number and uh, like an email address and a name and they were on it. Like, like you wouldn't believe. So Hats off to Laura, hats off to Juanita and Rosa. Rosa got one last week, I think. And we're working on one for Juanita this week. So we're, we're excited, man. It's a, good, it's a good mojo we got working here. Great stuff. And Rosa's been killing it with her TikTok videos, man. <laughs> so yeah, dude. Uh, great stuff, man. Way to support. You know, it's like a mini team with inside of the team. So um, I love it. So somebody said they're back. Oh, okay, cool. So let's turn it back over to Melody. Melody. As you can see, I added something here for your little bit there. So <laughs> Melody, talk to us a little bit about this, literally. So this is your, oh, no. so no, funny no, we, because- we, we could hear you. I, I closed my biggest deal and opened escrow on my smallest deal all within a week. <laughs> 
Um, but thank you, you guys. This is a flex deal. Um, Dan Lee Zhang, she's uh, just graduated from Davis and she's getting a condo to be closer to her grandmother. And um, she's just super, super sweet, like the most humble, the most grateful, like just says thank you every five minutes. And so um, it's always a pleasure to represent someone that's very grateful and appreciates all the hard work that we do because it ain't easy, y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, yeah, I love that. I love that. It, it makes the journey, even, I don't care what the, 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 uh, the amount is, it just feels good when they express some gratitude yeah. towards us. Well, good stuff. Congrats on your closing too. Biggest deal in your career and small school. But still all great feeling, right? So really, really good job, literally. All right, guys, let's, <laughs> let's move on to Mr. DeAndre. DeAndre on the board again. Dude, coming out strong, my man. Do you have a second to talk about this? I know you're usually driving or with the kids, but do you have a moment to speak about this transaction? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As usual, I'm, I'm on the road, but I'm hands-free, so we're safely operating. Um, this one was a long time coming. Took about four months to close, showing him in an area that I'm not too familiar with, but we got it done, and we got the property that he really wanted, so I couldn't be happier. Wait, was this your mechanic, Anon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, yes. yes. Detached dude. garage, everything. Property appraised for what he offered on it. He like, I legit could have shed a tear last night. <laughs> great stuff. Great stuff, my man. Congratulations. I remember when, when DeAndre first came to our, our company, uh, we did a Zoom session with him and his, think his sister and his sister's partner. And man, great yep. stuff. Good way to see this all the way through, man. So congratulations to you. You've been on, uh, on quite a streak lately. So let's keep it up, man. Great job. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, let's keep on rolling through. We have Gurpreet, the Preeti agent, got on the board for 450000 Gurpreet, are you on? You want to share your thoughts or your um, insight on this deal? Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm trying to think which one this was. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, gosh, sorry. I'm drawing a blank. Um, okay, there's that many. There's that I'm many. <laughs> <that's drawing laughs> <a blank. laughs> um 450. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm literally drawing a blank here. It's okay. You've been on such a run lately. I'm sure all these transactions are kind of blending together, but you it's have- It's Madeline. Madeline Street? Madeline Street. Okay. 68 Madeline. Okay. This is a Redfin lead, actually. Thank you, Karina, because I <laughs> completely drew a blank. Yes, Madeline. Uh, Redfin lead, met with her, got her pre-approved. Um, we went out. Uh, just first time we maybe viewed about three homes out of the three homes. Uh, this one seemed to have everything that they were looking for, what they needed actually. And I told them about the area, told them about the market, um, told them about how competitive it is. And luckily, um, this property had been on the market for some time and I explained to them, you know, looking at a, a home that's been sitting on the market for some time versus a home that just came on uh, on the market and the level of competition between the two. They got the idea. We went in aggressively, wrote a strong offer and uh, first offer, we got it accepted and we're in contract. Damn, beautiful. Really, really great job. What a incredible start to the year you've had what an incredible first quarter so congratulations to you all right guys let's keep cruising through um danielle are you on so danielle got in the contract four hundred and seventy thousand. are you on danielle all right cool we'll keep cruising through but mr michael spivey you know him you love him i'm sorry i'm on i was trying to put the unmute but i'm driving oh, okay. at the same time so okay hi how are you <laughs> hi Good, good. Um, this one's not even, not even fair. Uh, it was actually the first house I showed her. Um, she loved it, and I told her we're gonna ha probably have to write about thirty thousand dollars over and waive the appraisal. Okay, she basically said okay to everything I, I asked her to do, and uh, yeah, so it was very easy. So, so then, um, you know, and sometimes we're gonna get those unicorn moments. This, I know. This was a new strategy for you, right? Uh, the whole just going straight to the 30 or, I mean, $30,000 over on a 470 is pretty, pretty big. And so normally I don't like to be that aggressive, 
Um, but that's kind of how you have to be in the, in the market. So especially when you just start working with someone, you know, you don't want to scare them off, but, um, I guess I didn't scare them off. So that's good. No, good job. Really good job. And way to adjust your, you know, your thoughts and how you're going to approach this. So, um, great job to you. Let's go over to Mr. Thanks. Michael Spivey. Michael Spivey got in a contract for 552,990. Uh, man, been coming, excuse me, coming with some fire on his videos, his Hello Neighbor series. Michael, tell us a little bit about this transaction. Um, so this one was a lot of firsts and definitely shout out to the Spivey team. You know, a lot of background work that went into this one before it came together. But um, they reached out from online, start off with pretty much Google, YouTube. There was a video hideaway at River Islands that's on YouTube. And um, from that video, reached out to us and uh, took them to go see hideaway. Went through about seven different model homes between the Lathrop, Manteca, and somewhat looked at the Stockton area. Uh, from there, they had a great experience, leveraged the tools like High Note and just, uh, just other different resources, given that experience. Uh, finally found the house, worked out for them. From this, he sent me a friend that's down in Monterey that's already come up to look at uh, new homes. He sent me another friend and I talked to that friend yesterday and they said they had another friend. So now that's two more that I'll be meeting with at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Man, I love it, my man. I love it. Great stuff. And, and keep on, you know, making your content because it's catching fire, man. That consistency and what you guys are putting out, man. I'm really, really loving it, man. So great job to you. Great job to the Spivey Daniels team. Um, let's go over to Miss Sharice. Sharice, this is her first fast agent transaction. It's not her first transaction. She's been in the game for some time. So uh, Sharice, let's turn the spotlight over to you and tell us a little bit about this transaction. Okay, thank you. This Welcome. was a refresh for somebody I used to work with at Rockcliffe. It's a VA buyer and she did not know how to structure or she didn't know how to do VA loans. So seems to be my specialty the last two years. And so I took them out, I showed them a couple resell and then I pointed them to a new home builds, which is the best way to go with VA buyers right now, new homes. <laughs> Beautiful, well, great job. And, and you know what, I, I think that it sounds like you found a niche and you found somebody, you know, a way to get them into contract. And so really great job. Looking forward to watching you grow and support your journey. Good stuff. All right, guys, let's keep cruising through. Um, so Lisa Chavez got into contract this past week. Lisa, are you on this uh, this week to talk about this transaction? All right, we're going to keep cruising through. Uh, you know him, you love him, you call him the kid, Miss Mauricio, Mr. Mauricio Torres. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Mauricio, tell us a little bit about this, my man. Oh, you know, I had to put on for the Crow Squad. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, but yeah, so this is a, a close friend of mine. We went to school together, like back in high school. So I've known this guy since like I was 16. And then um, really late last year, he told me he wanted to uh, start working on getting pre-approved. So I got him connected with my lender. We got him pre-approved for a pretty solid amount. But we were out looking and writing offers for a little over a month. And we kept getting beat out. This was out in Tracy. Um, and since that market's like pretty competitive, he went out to Lathrop and um, in River Islands. And uh, we wrote a really competitive offer, but I would say what really helped us is building rapport with the listing agent. Like I was talking to a listing agent every day um, and my client actually met with the listing agent because the listing agent was outside the house. Um, he did kind of like an open house, but not really. He was like standing out there because it's occupied. And then each time a group came in, he went in, wiped down and then the group left. So he was there. And then my client introduced himself and then we talked for like 15, 20 minutes outside of the house. So, um, so yeah, he gave us really good insight. Once I sent the offer in, um, he was kind of giving me pointers and then it just, uh, it turned out well, we got it all signed yesterday and my client is super happy. And then, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, bro. Great job. And what a great year you're having. Um, let's go on to Miss Runon. Runon got in the contract again for 680,000. Miss Runon, you want to talk about this experience? I thought Ronan was here. I saw her. Uh, you're muted. We can't hear you. Uh, we can't hear you, Ronan. All right, just chime in when you get your audio fi uh, figured out because we want to hear from you and we're going to keep cruising on. We're going to go over to Miss Steffi. Uh, Stephanie had two transactions, misappointment setter, getting on the board has been 
um, on this great trajectory upwards. So Stephanie, you want to tell us about these opportunities? Hi everyone, I'm driving right now, but um, it's okay. I uh, this I got two in actually. That's that's not one transaction. It's two. Uh, Four hundred thousand. No, Stephanie, it's on there as two. Oh, is it? I'm sorry, I'm not looking at that. So I'm um, driving. Um, one was a Zillow. It was before we got on Flex. Another Zillow that we were you know before Flex. Um, I got a lead back in December, November or December and got them in contract um, on a condo in Concord. Um, and then the second one was an off-market opportunity where I met, again, Kim Liu, who is a um, guest here. And that one was for my niece who brought this transaction to me. And we got that in contract um, as well. And so those are the two deals that are in escrow uh, for the bomb spot. Ah, I love it. Congratulations, really, really great job. Uh, let's keep cruising on. We have tons and tons of production this week. And so I'm going to turn oh, it over shit, to Dewey. Dewey, you uh -oh, Dewey. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, it's Dewey, let's turn it over to you, my man. And, and look at this headshot. Really great headshot, my man. Let's go. Let's turn it over to you, Dewey. <laughs> hey, uh, Walt, I'll just let you know that that's one of the two that I got last week. Oh, but you didn't see the other part of the slide. Hi, right, Dara. Keep going. I'm gonna let you do your thing, and then I'm gonna go off. <laughs> go off, go off. Um, this guy I got as a referral from Kenny's brother. Um, I've been working with him. I see him more than I see my girlfriend. Sadly, I spent Valentine's with him, my birthday with him, and my girlfriend's mom's birthday with him. And we've been putting out offers like every single week, sometimes two to three a week. Like he'll lose, right? Lose, right? Um, we finally got him into contract. Uh, right before we, I left for my trip. And then thank you, Kyle. He was able to open up for the buyers because the buyer's like, when's the EMD due? I want to show my girlfriend before we put our EMD in. And I was like, fuck. But she loved it. Money's in. Um, he's fully approved. And we're just off to the races to the to finish line. So another one, also another Kenny deal. Um, new dev in Ellis, TriPoint. Um, yeah, that one should be closing in may so beautiful man great job great job all right let's go over to walt and jack so they had a listing uh was on the market for literally a blink of an eye probably one of the highest sales in this area so uh walt and jack I want you guys to talk about this yeah uh, i'll speak for jack uh he couldn't join us today um so this was a flex call that came in uh jack got the call he asked me to come along with him uh, this is a buyer that was selling in Dublin, wanted to buy in Walnut Creek. Uh, there was one across the street from him that went for 780 and they just took it off the market. But I kind of knew that it would go for a lot more in Dublin. So uh, with Jack's help, we did some pretty aggressive marketing, a uh, little bit of social media. Um, I hit up some agents in the area, kind of get an idea of what they thought it would go for. Um, basically shut the phones down for about a weekend and just talking to agents, going back and forth, going, 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 came down to two offers, one cash, one for a family. And we ended up going to one with the family with a pretty, uh, well-known agent here in the Tri-Valley. So, uh, quite simple, just teamwork, running the plays and using the tools. Where's Molly? Shout out to Molly. She helped me with the high note the day before, kind of getting all my stuff together. She gave me a template from can uh we just uh basically loved on the client very well hit them with the the teamwork the one two like you know mike and scotty pippen just you got this i got this and we just work together and use that synergy to keep going yeah beautiful great job to you and jack and and man i tell you what it seems like you've been in this game for a long time the way that you talk about this game so uh great stuff man congrats to you and jack all right guys let's keep cruising through um, Angelica uh, got in contract again. So actually she had two transactions since our last time reporting. Uh, two transactions equated to oh. 1.1 million. So Angelica, let's hear from you. So actually, oh. there's one. <laughs> I love you guys. You there, Angelica? Um, I think, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Can you, hear, can you guys hear me? Go in yep. once. Can you hear me? Go. I can hear her. Yeah. Yeah. That's now so cool. Elias is boosting internet. Don't worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> That's only a gen sauce, all right? <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, you guys can hear me, right? Yes. 
Okay, cool. So um, I think this is one from last week because it was just one this over this weekend. So um, yeah, this was a new development client I've been working with for a long time. I've been showing them all over the place, Fairfield, Vacaville, Oakley, Antioch. And we went to this place. It's uh, Davidon Homes, Park Ridge, the new development called The Hills, really nice homes. And we got lucky because there is a wait list and this house came up available all of a sudden. So we're super excited, 692 for this one. They're really happy. Oh, congratulations. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, let's go back over to um, Walt and, and Kate. This is another one. This is 1.460. <laughs> so I don't know if Kate's on, my man. So do you want to speak for both of you guys or you want to let Kate take this one? I'm, never, I'm on. I'm, really, I'm on. Oh, but, okay, my bad. My no, bad. no, no, no. I'm on. on, but well, you you could take it, but I'm well, on. No, hold on. We've heard a lot from Walt. Yeah, today. let's hear let's let's somebody else. Well, well, okay, but this was Walt. Walt brought me in on this deal. So it was a Zillow Flex. Um, he had to sell and buy. And so, um, yeah, we put it on the market and it went pending, what, seven days later, Walt? Yeah, seven days. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we were listed at 1399 and it went for 1460. So clients are happy. Beautiful. Great job. <laughs> Great job. So let's continue on this. Um, we're going to go back over to. Um, oh, that was a, actually a, a typo. I have you guys on there twice because Kate, you had another transaction, two other transactions for 1.675. So talk about those. Yeah, it was a really, it was a really great week. So uh, one of them is a Redfin lien that I got um, and it's a little condo in Hayward. And then the other one is in Fremont and that was my first Zillow Flex um, getting accepted. So super excited about it. Beautiful. And how long did you work that Zillow Flex lead? Um, a month and a half. And it was my third offer written for them. So um, not too long. Awesome. Really, really good job. Congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, you guys, you know her, you love her. Miss Christina, she posted two transactions this last week, equated to $1.7 million in volume. So Christina, tell us about Ooh. these transactions. I don't even know where to start because it's just all <laughs> over the place. Um, two transactions. So I don't know. You know, I, I think really the, the thing that I just can't help but to tell you guys is just to stay resilient. I mean, the clients, you know, that they've been very tenacious. So they're constantly like we're just offering and we're putting, you know, we just keep putting offers and we're losing, but we're, you know, we're just getting staying in that momentum. So on both transactions, I mean, both clients I worked with for over, I don't know, over six weeks. So it's been exciting to get them in contract. So that's that's really it. Thank you, everybody. I love it. I love it. Do we? Has, your, has your cousin signed the onboarding paperwork yet or no? Should we send that to her now? Yeah, send it to her now. She's ready. LA, okay. here we come. <laughs> that's right. We're taking over. All right. Really great job to everybody that got into contract for this last week. Uh, we're going to shift into a uh, fast story and then we're going to bring it full circle with all of our numbers. Um, but you guys, I wanted to feature Miss Donna Chan this week for our fast story of the week. And a few words that really stood out to me uh, were advocacy and unity. Um, she has been a huge, huge promoter and advocate, you know, to stop the hate, to bring unity, to talk about what's going on in um, you know, Chinatown and the Asian community and really start finding some solutions. And she put together this panel. She asked me to be a, a, a speaker on it, or excuse me, a, um, a moderator. So just want to give Donna a second to shine because Donna, you have showed up in such a big way, not only for the company and from a production side, but from a community standpoint with your affiliation with Aria and everything that you're doing to bring awareness, to bring unity. So Donna, just want to give you the spotlight in the moment to, to, to talk. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so deeply humbled. Um, the love from our team has been so amazing. The word has this, I was telling somebody, and, and Elias, you are amazing. You had a story that went out and it just changed so many people's lives. I'm sure it has reached someone. So deeply humbled. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, Thank you. Yes. Hey, Franzen, right? DJ Franzen was like, he was just like, when you say God said, right? It was like, 
last minute he came through. I don't know where he came from, but he just joined us on this panel. And we always say, we speak a hundred words. It may not go out to one person. He says one word, it goes out to a hundred or a thousand. Right? So the word was out there after it. I just got so many DMs like saying, we didn't know this was happening. So awareness was one thing for sure. Um, Oakland, we want to make sure that we were able to, because Oakland is our hometown, right? Our back, backyard and where we do a lot of our business as well, we stay. So we're going to work with the community because they're asking, you know, does Team Pass want to come out and join us to do that? I said, well, let me know what it is and we'll get a crew. Our team has always been saying, Donna, where you want me to So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everybody. This was, um, it was amazing to bring awareness because we cannot have our elders be afraid to go outside the door. Because they, they, and, yes. and so, um, and that's the reason why Francis says, you know, his mom lives in the Bay Area still. And he's like, I'm telling mom, don't go out because you just never know. You got to have somebody there. And we just don't want that, right? So when it stops, it stops. And everybody, awareness is where it starts. So thank you. That's right, Donna. That's right. And you know, it just, you know, like humble. When I think about you, it's just, you have this humble approach to life and really wanting to give back. So as a company, we're going to do more things to get involved. Kenny and I want to launch something called Fast Youths, where we're going to bring teenagers in and they have a choice, right? It's like, do I want to go hang out with the thugs and learn some gangster shit? Or do I want to learn the real gangster shit and how to sell real estate and build wealth for me and my family and my future? which gangster do you want to choose, right? So we're going to give a platform for people and, and give back to our community. So if you guys are thinking about getting involved and doing things like that, make sure that you guys let us know and let's all come together because this is a movement, right? And we as a company can create other movements. And so Donna, hats off to you. Thank you for everything that you represent for this company and for our local communities. So great job, Donna. Thank you, Penny. And same as what right, JP so was saying, when JP mentioned it as well too, being a part of a company that you may say the word, can you say it? Because you may say that much better than I did. Because like when you're a part of a company that stands behind you and- Allows you basically to be yourself within social justice, it means a lot that you don't have to go out to these events and say, hey, I gotta change my clothes because it doesn't align with the brand. The brand is, a movement of brand is that change that we need in this world. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. We're not just your average everyday real estate company, right? This is a true movement in real estate and each of you have played a hand in that. So love it. I wanted to share that fast story of the week. Thank you, Donna. Uh, and thank you, Jeff, for your insight as well. You guys, I wanted to share this with you. Obviously, we always share our closed production and our pending escrows, which when you look at this, it's absolutely amazing. But uh, fast real estate hit a milestone last week. We closed our hundredth side of the year, you guys. It is, what month is, are we in? Are we in March? And we closed our hundredth deal of the year. Hundred families served already in March. Really great job. You guys, last week alone, you guys put 14 million, almost, excuse me, over 14 million in pending volume in one freaking week. Let's fucking go! Okay. One more time, you guys, we close our 100th deal and it's not even April and you guys posted over 14 months of production in one I mean, hopefully you guys can feel my pure excitement for this company and for you guys' journey. So you guys, we're gonna post this on social today. Make sure to grab it, tag everyone, let the world know what we are doing because we are accomplishing major things, not only in here in the Bay Area, but in California and in the country. So hats off to every single one of you that contributes to all of our success on and off the field. Great stuff, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go to this next slide. Obviously make sure that you're knowing what's happening in our week. Know what's happening for all of our group events, coaching, onboarding, everything that we're putting on the calendar. But I'm gonna pass it over to John. John, we obviously have some big, huge news. I wanna give you the spotlight to talk about this. So without further ado, Mr. John Gomez, take it away for a moment. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, yeah, so Real Scout is launching soon. Like literally within the next half hour or so, everybody should be getting a registration link from Real Scout. 
Um, so if you're an existing user, just follow that link and it, it'll switch your account over. If you're paying, you're going to get a prorated refund um, for whatever, right about the middle of the month. If you're a new user, obviously you're, you're, it's going to be a new account. Um, Real Scout is going to be hosting a training for us next Thursday. Um, we'll send out details of that on Slack. We're also going to drop a, a, a quick little video from Real Scout in, in Slack after this meeting, just kind of explaining what it is for the people that haven't used it. But I think the majority of you, as Elias would say, you know it, you love it. Real Scout's awesome. Uh, so that's launching today. If you have any issues or if you know this afternoon you don't get the registration email, reach out to us. But Molly has been working super hard. Molly was kind of the one that made this all happen in the first place. Obviously, Kenny gave the green light. So it was just a, a, an effort from leadership to bring you a tool that we, we really feel strongly about bringing value to your business. And I recommend that everybody, even if you're a Real Scout user, try to attend that training because we do get some new tools as a brokerage level account. There are some new tools that we get access to that you haven't had access to as an individual account. So um, we'll get details on that. I see people asking about uh, MLS. Uh, we, we should be able to add different MLSs to your real scout. We can, we can get down that road. And like I said, they're going to help with onboarding. So just reach out to Molly and myself with, with any questions, but you should be getting the registration link soon. Yeah, I mean, you guys, this is huge for our company, huge for you guys, you know, savings, but then just giving you a tool that's going to be able to interact with your clients on a better way on a different level. Um, a lot of people know Molly, but don't really know the extent of her role. She is the director of partnerships and onboarding. So not only is she helping you guys with your transition to come into the company I and mean, helping be a steward of that process, she's also the director of partnerships and making sure that she's aligning ourselves with companies like High Note and Real Scout and looking for great opportunities. And then when we open the offices back up, being able to align with people that can sponsor and put things together. And she's a great, great at putting together events and, and, and getting, you know, uh, leveraging these companies. So um, shout out to Molly for doing something huge for our company. Thank you for, for putting this all in the works. Really, really great job. Appreciate you. Um, wanted to turn it over to Karina. Karina wanted to share a quick teachable moment with everybody. Hey everybody, just a couple things for you. I um, uh, first, first and foremost, I think that social justice is one of our, you know, pinnacle things of all time that we really need to to be on top of. And I appreciate Donna and Jeff and everybody with their awareness and and doing that whole thing. So like, please, please keep that up. Please don't lose that. We we appreciate that energy, and I I want to be part of it as well. And then the second thing is just to make sure that we're watching our language when we're talking about contingencies. We're not telling our clients to remove appraisal contingency. We're not saying remove your inspection contingency. We're presenting the facts, our experience, you know, using our judgment and we're the experts that are helping them, but ultimately it's their decision and they need to be aware of what the dangers of that are as well as potential for getting their offer accepted. Like it comes in, you know, time and time again, like when markets turn, you know, clients can turn against us. And if you're the one saying you have to do this in order to get your offer accepted, it's a, it's a recipe for a lawsuit. So please, please be careful. Watch your language. Talk to me if you have questions about how to present that to clients. I'm happy to walk you through it. Good stuff. Like, Thank you. Uh, um, like Karina said, when, when markets turn, that's when clients get like so happy. Uh, when everything's going good, everyone's doing well, then great. When the market starts like go, going one way or the other, that's when people really come out. There was like a time, I think two years ago, where I had like three different clients that wanted to sue each other. Like we, we were at no fault, but it was a really tense situation. So when people are negotiating hardcore, they're not getting their way. Um, or if a buyer overpays for something, Technically, everyone's going to be overpaying right now. And then two years later, like, well, you know, I shouldn't have done that. My value's down there. Should I come after you? They're going to document the emails where, well, my realtor said I should remove all the contingencies. So you got to be very, very careful right now. It, it seems all fine. But when the market turns is when people start making ra rational decisions, uh, do the different things. And big Good thanks to, to JJ for helping point that out too. I appreciate his his wisdom and guidance along the way. So like the, the, uh, the statewide buyer advisory, when did that come out, Karina? Wasn't that like only like five years uh, ago? 2012, I think. Yeah. So BFA. that that's the example. The market started shifting and there were so many things people didn't know. And then they had to actually so this is why disclosure packages just going thicker and thicker because more things that happen to prevent it, they keep adding more disclosures. 
Awesome. You guys, thank you for the update, JJ. Thank you for your insight as well. Uh, at least I see you on the screen. We gave you a shout out earlier um, for your new transaction now that you're on and you have a new Zoom backdrop I see there. Do you want to talk about this transaction? Yeah, sure. It's new construction. So I'm not doing crap on it. It's great. I love it. And um, my clients are stoked. How should we close on March 29th? So Look, let's see the little one. Hi. What's her name again? Alex. Oh. Alex, are you back in school? Or are you are you going on spring break next week, or what's going on? I'm in spring break, but I'm going back to school on April fifth. Okay, are you studying for your real estate license as well? Mm -hmm. I'm watching. Yeah, she just recently <laughs> said someone asked her what she wants to do when she grows up, and she said, "I want to be a real estater." <laughs> <laughs> that is too cute. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm writing this down. Real estater. I love that. <laughs> All right, Lisa, congratulations. And I know Thank your you. husband's studying as well. So congratulations. Just want to give you a huge shout out, all right? Yeah, he's done studying. So he's getting it, he's setting his date right now for his test. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Well, cool. Well, congratulations. Make sure that he's on Slack and so he can ask questions and be a part of the Aspiring Agents. So really great job. Awesome. Thank you. Yep, you got it. All right, so John, I'm gonna turn it over to you. John, you have some big announcements, some great stuff going on, tons of progress if you've seen John's uh, Instagram. So uh, Johnny Boy, let's turn it over to you for a moment. Yeah, so uh, things are coming along in Brentwood. I mean, we get little updates every week, but now we're just super confident that we're gonna hit that you know, first week of April, ready to work. Uh, Rebecca and I know Lisa and lots of other people are fired up to start working there. So I'm gonna be there today. We're getting an electronic key installed. So when it is go time, I can literally just, you, text you an app, you download the app, and then you're going to use your, your key to open the door. So there's no like logistics when it comes to keys. So, you know, tech forward, and we're going to make it easy as possible for you to get in. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, officially first week of April, but I'm hoping that our, our, at least our conference room is going to be set up in, in the next week or so. And once that's ready, we have internet, you'll, you'll be able to get access and we'll have somewhere for you to sit. I mean, I just tell Rebecca, like, hey, like, you know, you might have to work out of a folding table, but you won't even have to bring folding tables and chairs. We'll have your nice conference room set up. So we're trying to get you in there as soon as possible. Um, anyone else that's that's out in that area? Uh, I, I heard a few newer agents of the team are in East County. Uh, we can definitely set you up with access as well. But I'll, I'll be out there today and I'll try to post some some pictures. The painters have been working hard. It's, it's we're really transforming the space, working with a designer that Kenny brought on. Um, it's it's all exciting stuff. A couple more weeks. So yeah, we're, I mean, we're taking this space pretty seriously because it's going to be a flagship of each Contra Costa. Uh, I mean, just furniture alone has been over 30 grand and we're not even done buying chairs. Uh, concrete work was like 15 grand, paint was like five grand. So we're pretty serious about making this a really gorgeous office. We're also like learning a lot along the way of what we would like a place to look like. Um, we're, we're, that's very, very close in of um, doing our Hercules office too. So Hercules office is probably going to get pushed to June. Like not, not at our fault. It's just a building. We've been negotiating back and forth, conference room, this bathroom, this kitchen. We decided to just rather than them build all the rooms for us, we're just going to um, ask them to put bathrooms in. We're putting our own glass partition walls in there. The glass alone is like over a thousand dollars a foot. Like, so we're putting about almost 40 feet in. So we're going to invest probably 50, 60 grand in that Hercules office too. So we're, we want to make sure we're being really impactful when we're coming into a new area that we're, we're, we're making these really, really uh, high quality offices. Like KW offices are, I realized when I was looking up last week, KW and Reach's offices look pretty similar. It's just KW has like red walls and they always have like low mid grade furniture, but we want to make our stuff like really, really uh, bougie. Again, these bigger offices are also for our team, for any members, and they can be used uh, allowed to be used by independent solo EXP agents that are in your downline. So you can leverage any of these offices to grow your organization, which is going to be really cool because then if you bring on someone, bring on someone, that everyone that you brought on gets paid. So we're, we're, we're bringing the recruiting level to just much, much higher level than any other ESP agents in our area. I mean, you guys, the, the thing about us is that we've always wanted to be different stylistically, right? And so when, when, you know, some of our roots, we came from Climb Real Estate, who was a funky, indie, trendy brokerage. When you walked in, you're like, wait a minute, there's no cubicles, there's hip hop blaring, there's all these funky themed rooms and wallpaper that's all decked out and ready for Instagram. So I think a lot of that is in us. And so we wanted to have this space that 
really speaks to that difference and speaks to how different we are stylistically. So I think that our offices, I don't think I know that our offices are gonna be a true reflection of how we really are. So we're stoked to be able to build these offices for you and John, thank you for all your hard work and the design team and everything. So huge, huge things to come you guys. So stoked for you. And um, I think I'll be working out of the Hercules office as well as the Brentwood office. So, um, but I still got love for Walnut Creek and for Oakland as well. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's, uh, let's go here. You guys, I wanted to share this and I wanted to get what your thoughts were, because obviously as we get into spring, we'll probably do a big event, do some brainstorming, be, do some masterminding. What I want to hear from you guys, if you can light up the chat for me, I wanted to have you guys share your spring marketing and ideas. When will these launch and what help do you guys need? Meaning, are there things that you want to start sending out? Or is there campaigns that you're going to want to do? Are you going to do like a first quarter, you know, review of sales in a particular area for your farm? Are you going to launch a farm? Are you, what is it that you are going to launch for the springtime as the season shifts? So feel free to put that in the chat. That way we can share with everybody and I'll start going through what I'm seeing here. Um, all right. So um, let's see here. Launching a farm in Dublin. Bro, that is a great idea. You guys have some great success to talk about. Um, so newsletter, cool. You guys, we're actually working on a newsletter for the company that's going to be launching soon. Launching a farm in San Leandro. Uh, Jen and I have a coming soon in San Leandro. We just closed on one. So we are going, we're about to close on one. So we're going to start really taking over that San Leandro market. Podcast, bro, I love that. Love that. Um, Michael Spivey is going to be doing a podcast highly highly encourage you to get that on the calendar right away dude because your stuff you already have an audience people are really watching what you're doing so what else you guys what are some other ideas we have for spring uh video interview series cool patrick who are you going to be interviewing um I've, I've got several candidates that i'm going to be talking to it's going to be spread out uh pretty broad as far as uh category so for example my first one is going to be with an agent that uh I grew up with who's just dominating in San Francisco. We're going to be talking about how the pandemic affected that market and how it contrasts against the Bay Area um, as a whole. And then um, reaching out to contractors who do like really incredible work, reaching out to even uh, 3D printing construction companies to talk about the temperature of that universe and how far we are away from that. So stuff like that. Dude, I love it. Love it. I love the approach. And this is awesome, bro. Good stuff. What else, you guys? What are also some of your other spring ideas that you guys are going to be launching? I know you guys have tons of ideas. Getting all homeowners, I know, set up on HomeBot. Yeah, dude, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Start prepping for my 30 under 30. Is that Dewey? Nice, bro. Good stuff. Uh, definitely farming in Brentwood. Watch out, Team Fast is officially here. That's right, man. They don't, they don't know nothing about us. Wait till, <laughs> wait till they get a load of us, right? Good stuff, good stuff. What else, you guys? What are other ideas that you have? My advice to everyone that has these ideas, choose a date, right? Choose a date and then start putting your action plan together and execution items. That way it's not just an idea floating out. You guys have a set date of when this will launch. April 1st comes around, these things should already be in motion. Not like, oh, it's April 1st, I'm gonna get this launched. Like there's all kinds of spring cleaning events. You guys can you know, hire a shredded truck to come out in your farm. You guys can do a spring cleaning event where you hire a big dumpster. There's tons of things that you guys can be doing. I'll be in Brentwood from about, okay. John's gonna be in Brentwood from 12.30 to 1.30 if anyone wants to cruise by. Um, perfect. <laughs> Sorry. So John sent this to me. He'll be in Brentwood from 12.30 to 1.30 if anyone wants to cruise by. Oops, that was meant for the chat, but now we all know. All right, any other things that you guys wanna share that you're gonna be doing, that you're gonna be launching that you want to put on the calendar? Cool, John, she'll come by. That's from Lisa. And she's bringing the future real estater. Is it real, real estater with, with her? All right, you guys, listen, I, I, and we're gonna be in contract. Oh, cool, Jen just says we're gonna get into contracts. So we've been going back and forth on a counter um, and this is up in the Oakley market. So uh, great job, Jen. <laughs> All right, you guys, so hey, listen, um, let's, let's look at this week and let's realize how much of a milestone this week was to break, you know, 14 million in one week to do our hundredth transaction. We're not even in April and to have over 80 people attend this meeting. 
you guys, I cannot tell you enough how much it means to, to me and Kenny and the rest of the leadership team. Uh, we just appreciate you. And, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, the fact that you guys show up and that you work your ass off. There's no other team out there, and I'll say it over and over again, that out hustles us. We show up in a big way, and there's this movement, like we've all said. And so uh, thank you to all of our guests. Hopefully you got an insight to our culture, our atmosphere, and the way that we really support each other in this village. Thank you to all of our new agents that shows Fast Real Estate to support their dreams. And uh, to all of our seasoned agents, thank you for, for being here and supporting the journey. Text Dewey if you guys need hoodies. If you don't have it, also he has the Team Fast t-shirts. Let's get out there and rock our gear because there's nothing else like it. Watch when we have our, our, our Sprinter van. It's going to be wrapped. We're going to follow the van. You're going to see Team Fast logo all throughout the, the Bay Area. So uh, yes, Christina, absolutely. Congratulations to everyone. Let's close out this, uh, this month strong and walk into April with some swag and with some momentum and with the plan in mind, you guys. We're here to support you guys. If you need anything, as always, let us know. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you represent to this company. Have a wonderful week, you guys. Thanks, guys. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.